Hello everyone. In this recording, we are going to talk about Oracle Integration Cloud interview questions. So Oracle Integration Cloud is uh, becoming very popular and successful integration platform or Oracle Cloud. So whenever you go to interviews, obviously you'll be asked for various questions. So we'll try to cover some questions in this video and also maybe we'll be creating a few more recordings to cover the rest of the questions. The first question is, what do you understand about Oracle Integration Cloud and where is it used? It is a cloud-based integration platform which is available from Oracle Cloud and uh, that is used for building various kinds of integrations. So YC is also referred as PaaS platform or also sometimes we call IPaaS platform. We can develop integrations between cloud to cloud, cloud to on-premises, on-premises to on-premises. You see like all combinations are possible. So it means you'll be able to develop any kind of integrations with the help of integration cloud. It's a very generic integration platform. It is usually heavily used for building inbound and outbound integrations with Oracle ERP cloud, Oracle HCM cloud, etc. Even though it's not limited to that one. For example, we can build integration between Oracle HCM cloud to Workday, which is like you no know, cloud to cloud. Or you may want to build integration with Oracle EBS to Oracle Financials Cloud, which is on-prem to cloud. So all are possible. YC provides various adapters to connect with applications and technologies. The next question is, what do you understand about Oracle? Uh, what do you, uh, what are the adapters in OIC? That is the next question. Or how do you connect with any external applications or technologies? OIC comes with various out of the box adapters. Like in order to connect with any external application or technology, you'll be using an adapter, which is also uh, acting like a mediator. For example, we want to build an integration to pull data from Oracle database. In that case, we can use Oracle database adapter. Adapters can be classified into, again, as just mentioned, two types. One is application adapters or technology adapters. For example, Oracle ERP cloud adapter to connect to Oracle ERP cloud or Workday adapter, Salesforce adapter, EBS adapters, all these are application adapters because these are the applications and you're trying to connect those applications with the help of corresponding adapters. Whereas it comes to Oracle database adapter, file adapter, FTP adapter, these are classified as technology adapters. The next question is, what is connection in OIS? A connection is basically created based on adapter. You can also treat this as an instance of an adapter. So if you want to connect to any application technology, you are going to choose the corresponding adapter and using the adapter, you will create a connection. So connections are huge. That's why they become building blocks of integrations in integration cloud. So whenever you are developing an integration, we drop and we drop the corresponding connection and configure to build the integration flow. The configuration depends on the types of the connection. Like when you are configuring, it depends on like whether it is a trigger type connection, invoke type connection, and also the underlying adapter. Next question is, what are the two types of connections in OIC? There are two types of connections. One is trigger and invoke. Not every adapter supports trigger and invoke. Basically, it depends on the adapter, like whether you can create a trigger connection based on that or not, whether you can create invoke connection or not. The trigger connection is used for two purposes mainly. One is you want to expose integration as a rest or so, or you want to receive an event from some external application to initiate your integration. Whereas invoke connection is used to invoke any functionality from an external application or a technology. For example, you want to read customer details from database. In that case, you're going to create invoke connection using Oracle database and use it. Or you want to create a supplier in Oracle ERP cloud. That time also you're going to create invoke connection. So usually an integration contains one trigger connection which is like you now also treated as an entry point, and it may have one or multiple invoke connections. The next question is, what are the types of integrations in OIC? There are six types of integrations, and we also refer them as integration patterns and styles. So when you're trying to create an integration, it is going to show this pop-up, like choose the, the integration style. 
So these are like no uh, basic routing. Then you have the abdomen orchestration, schedule orchestration, file transfer, publish to OIC, subscribe to OIC. But in all these six, the very popular or like you no know, very uh, primarily used integrations are app driven orchestration and scheduled orchestration. The basic routing published to OIC, subscribed to OIC are actually deprecated in the latest versions of OIC. You may not be using much. The same as file transfer, you may be using, but the file transfer also can be achieved with the help of these other orchestration uh, style integrations also. So basic routing is used for simple integration to access only one connection, whereas orchestration has a capability to use multiple connections and also you can write the logic. That is the, that's why like, they are very popular and Oracle also trying to like, you know, uh, recommend to use this integration wherever required. That's all for uh, today in this recording and uh, we will be covering more questions in the future recordings. Thank you so much.